With a unanimous vote, the Denver City Council bans all forms of smoking on the 16th Street Mall. It's a bold move in an ongoing effort to make the mall a more visitor-friendly attraction. Kelly Worthman live on that mall for us. And Kelly, the ban is also about trying to keep people healthy. Well, that's what the Downtown Denver Business Partnership, as well as health advocates, say about the Breathe Easy campaign. But some people believe the smoking ban is really about image and pushing a certain crowd off the 16th Street Mall. Visitors to the 16th Street Mall will soon have to leave their smoking tobacco, e-cigarettes, and vaporizers at home. Denver City Council approved the Breathe Easy ordinance Monday night, meaning no one can smoke or vape within 50 feet of the downtown mall and may face a $100 fine if they do. I just don't think there's a need to smoke in like a family environment. Councilman Elvis Brooks sponsored the measure after he says numerous people complained about smoking and the dangers of second and hand smoke, but some homeless advocates believe the smoking ban is really a smoke screen. It's not about people breathing well. It's all an attack to get some people out of sight. Council members did address homeless targeting concerns. They also amended the ordinance to require Denver police to regularly report to council who is being cited and how often. It could be unfairly wielded to harass particular groups of people in an effort to sanitize them all. Now, the smoking ban does go into effect on December 1st, and we should note that Denver police say that citations are really their last resort. They're hoping to just get away with verbal warnings to have people move off the 16th Street Mall. And to help with that, Denver Health has given the city $10,000 to put signs along the mall warning them of no smoking. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.